The NFL draft is quickly approaching, and we have the final pre-draft quarterback rankings, courtesy of our guy, Sports Illustrated senior fantasy football analyst, Michael Fabiano. And Fabs, let's dive right in. I know you have him ranked one to five. We're going to go in reverse order. Who do you have as the number five incoming rookie passer? I'm going with Mac Jones, and I know a lot of folks out there think he's going third overall to the San Francisco 49ers. Time will tell if that actually happens. He's coming off a great season. I mean, he led all uh, Alabama to a national championship over his last 24 collegiate games. He threw for 55 touchdown passes, just seven interceptions. He's not the most mobile quarterback in the world. He's more of a pocket passer. And if he is, in fact, going to San Francisco with Kyle Shanahan, that's going to accentuate his value. But I tend to lean to more of the mobile quarterbacks from a fantasy perspective, which is why Jones is number five. All right, let's go to number four. Very interesting pick here because it sounds like the New York Jets are going to take Zach Wilson at number two, but he's your fourth ranked passer. Wilson was tremendous last year. 33 touchdown passes, three interceptions. Uh, this guy is very accurate in terms of his deep ball. But he had one good year at BYU. The competition wasn't great. He played behind an elite offensive line. And oh, by the way, if you want to know how bad the Jets have been in terms of drafting first round players and or quarterbacks, go to SI.com slash Fabiano and check out my article about why Wilson might have a bigger chance to be a bust than an actual fantasy asset. Let's keep it moving. We'll go to number three. You have Trey Lance here. Yeah, Lance is a ridiculously mobile quarterback, a guy who's going to be able to beat you not only with his arm, uh, but with his legs. I get it. There's questions about the talent that he faced there at North Dakota State. And he's more of a project. I don't know that he'd be a starter in week one of his rookie campaign. He's likely to be a top 10 pick in this upcoming draft. But it's that rushing ability, Bill, that really intrigues me about Trey Lance. Fantasy football players, we know we love those dual threat quarterbacks that can also run in addition to passing the rock. Let's go to number two. We have Ohio State quarterback, Justin Fields. And you're hearing more and more noise about maybe Fields going to the Niners at number three, right? There's that picture out there of Kyle Shanahan and Fields looking at each other lovingly. Who knows what's going to happen? But Fields was great uh, at Ohio State, won 20 of 22 games, uh, nearly completed 70% of his passes over his last two seasons. So he's a very accurate player. And oh, by the way, he can give you some love in terms of the rushing as well. Had 867 combined rushing yards and 15 touchdowns during those 22 games with the Buckeyes. So I have him ranked number two because I love accurate quarterbacks and I love quarterbacks who can run with the football. That dual threat makes him a potential fantasy superstar in the future. And your number one quarterback is Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson. All signs, all indications going to the Jacksonville Jaguars with that number one overall pick. Right, went 34-2 and two at Clemson, won a national championship, completed about 67% of his passes, threw for over 10,000 yards, uh, 108 combined touchdowns, including 18 rushing touchdowns. He is the complete package. You talk about quarterbacks who are generational. He could be the best prospect to come out of college since Andrew Luck. So the Jacksonville Jaguars are getting themselves a potential stud, and fantasy managers could be also getting a potential superstar here for the next 10-plus years. All right, Fabs, I know you have your, we just did quarterbacks. You got your running backs, your wide receivers, your tight end, all your pre-draft rankings up on SI.com right now. You can check them out. Go to SI.com slash fantasy.